The vast expanse of the Sahara has fascinated scientists for years as they strive to uncover the secrets of this mysterious desert. Recently, they've made an astonishing breakthrough. Imagine the Sahara as it is today, completely unrecognizable 11,000 years ago. Join us on an expedition into the depths of the Sahara as we unveil a groundbreaking discovery recently announced by scientists exploring the region. From concealed water sources to ancient fossils, this is a narrative you cannot afford to overlook. So, prepare your gear and join us as we embark on an unprecedented journey through the Sahara. The Green Sahara puts the Amazon to shame. Whether it's the Sahara or the Savannah, get ready to be amazed, because scientists have unearthed a staggering discovery in the Sahara Desert that will revolutionize everything you thought you knew. Did you know the Sahara was once a lush paradise dwarfing the Amazon rainforest? Once barren, it bloomed with greenery, lakes, and wildlife. After the last ice age, it transformed into a green haven. Vegetation sprouted on sandy dunes, and rain turned arid caverns into lakes. Animals like hippos, antelopes, elephants, and aurochs thrived in this green Sahara. But how did this happen? Around 8,000 years ago, Earth's tilt shifted from 24.1 to 23.5 degrees, increasing solar radiation and enhancing the African monsoon. This shift brought moisture from the Atlantic, turning the desert into a grassy steppe where life flourished. Sadly, this paradise vanished abruptly over just 200 years due to abrupt climate change. Although the solar radiation change was gradual, the landscape's transformation was swift, leaving behind only memories and ruins. Yet, there's hope. The Sahara could turn green again, but due to human-caused greenhouse gas emissions, the timing is uncertain. So, brace yourself for the wonders of the Sahara, as it holds endless mysteries waiting to be discovered, from ancient lakes to hidden ecosystems. One such discovery is a mega lake buried beneath the desert sands. This lake, which existed over 250,000 years ago, covered over 42,000 square miles at its peak. Geologist Ted Maxwell and team found this using NASA's Space Shuttle Radar Topography Mission data. It's amazing what you can discover while bored and scrolling through data. They also found evidence of a smaller lake covering around 18,600 square miles, which archaeologists think could have supported human migration during the Pleistocene period. Who knew beneath the desert sands lay a prehistoric oasis? It's like finding a diamond in coal. Sahara's prehistoric sea creatures, scientists have revealed that the Sahara Desert was once home to giant catfish and sea snakes. A study found that the ancient Trans-Saharan Seaway, covering 3,000 square kilometers, teemed with life 100 to 50 million years ago. The sea was 50 meters deep and contained giant catfish, sea snakes, and cygnodonts. The sea creatures experienced gigantism, likely due to the sea acting as an island of water, creating new variables that influenced their body size. The discovery sheds light on the KPG boundary, highlighting the importance of understanding historical climate change. Lost fortresses and civilizations in the Sahara, Archaeologists have unearthed over a hundred fortress settlements from the Garamantes, who ruled from the 2nd century BC to the 7th century AD. These fortresses, walled towns, villages, and farms, are perfectly preserved and up to 13 feet tall. The Garamantes were advanced, with their writing system and mastery of irrigation, cultivating Mediterranean crops and sub-Saharan African sorghum, pearl millet, and cotton. Their fate remains a mystery. The Garamandes likely declined due to shrinking groundwater, worsened by the Roman Empire's fall and escalating Mediterranean conflicts. This real-life mystery grips us. The find is a game-changer for Libya's antiquity service, letting Libyans reclaim their history. Time to rewrite and honor the Garamandes. The Sahara's forts reveal hidden secrets, sparking anticipation for what lies beneath. Sahara holds the largest Stone Age graves, a glimpse into Kifian culture. Kifians lived 10,000 to 8,000 years ago in a wetter Sahara. Recent Sahara exploration unearthed Kifian graves, revealing their hunting lifestyle. In 2000, anthropologists discovered Kifian remains at Gabero, amidst Niger's Tenera Desert, showcasing their hunting prowess. Unique graves with stone layers highlight Kifian reverence for the dead. But there's more. The Kifian people were believed to be over six feet tall, like giants in their time. Their remains, discovered on the shores of a lake during the Holocene wet phase, reveal them as tall, skilled hunters. This discovery is particularly remarkable considering it dates back to when the Sahara was a wet and verdant region. These graves, surviving for thousands of years, offer valuable insights into the Kifian culture. 
They lived in a different world, a lush paradise when the Sahara was verdant. This aspect of history is fascinating, showcasing the remarkable and wild events that preceded us. The Sahara Desert and the Amazon Rainforest are linked by a vast cloud of sand and scrub that crosses the Atlantic Ocean. This dust, rich in phosphorus, is a crucial nutrient for the Amazon's plant life. NASA satellite data has allowed scientists to quantify the amount of dust and phosphorus traveling from the Sahara to the Amazon for the first time. The journey of dust is more significant than previously thought, with an estimated 22,000 tons of phosphorus from the Bodil Depression in Chad, an ancient lake bed, being deposited in the Amazon basin annually. That's roughly the same lost from rain and flooding. But let's get some perspective, wind and weather gather about 182 million tons of dust annually, equal to 689,290 semi-trucks filled with dust. Afterwards, the dust travels 1,600 miles across the Atlantic Ocean, with about 132 million tons still in the air near the eastern coast of South America. Meanwhile, 27.7 million tons settle on the surface over the Amazon basin. Who knew the Sahara and Amazon were so connected? Maybe one day the Amazon will trade some rain for sand. Who knows? This surprising link between two of the planet's most diverse ecosystems proves Mother Nature always has a few tricks. The Sahara Desert, despite being vast and barren, is a treasure trove for paleontologists. Dinosaurs used to roam the Sahara's sandy dunes. Who needs Jurassic Park when you have the Moroccan Sahara? The fossils aren't ordinary either. In the past year, they found some real heavyweights, like the Mansurosaurus shahini, thought to have weighed 5.5 tons. That's one big lizard. And let's not forget the plesiosaurs, long-necked marine reptiles from the dinosaur era found in a 100-million-year-old river system. Some plesiosaur species may have been freshwater creatures, a surprise. What's next? Will they uncover a Tyrannosaurus rex beneath the dunes? Discover giant sloths roam the desert? Who knows? But one thing's certain, the Sahara Desert hides serious paleontological gems. If you seek a real-life Indiana Jones adventure, pack your bags for the Sahara. Who knows what you might find? It's time to bust some desert myths. Contrary to popular belief, the Sahara Desert isn't the world's largest. That title goes to the icy Antarctic and Arctic deserts. Sure, the Sahara is the biggest hot desert, but let's not forget the cold tundra up north. Why does desert size matter? Well, the expanding Sahara is something to watch out for. It's grown by nearly 10% since 1920, thanks to humans and climate change. But there's hope, wind and solar farms can help combat climate change and provide clean energy. Despite being the third largest desert, the Sahara is huge, spanning over 8.6 million square kilometers. But here's the thing, it's a shapeshifter, changing with the seasons like a breathing organism. Scientists say it's now 10% larger than almost a century ago. Some growth is natural, but human impact is significant. Every action counts, even small ones like turning off lights or carpooling, to preserve our planet and prevent deserts from expanding. The Sahara's singing sands are another mystery. This phenomenon, from whistling to booming sounds, has baffled scientists for centuries. It's like the desert is trying to tell us something or maybe just having fun. Some experts think it's the sand grains or dune shapes, others say it's the desert's way of enjoying itself. Whatever the reason, it's mesmerizing and draws visitors worldwide. The sounds range from vibrations to a full orchestra, creating a unique musical record for each area. Recent research even lets us recreate these sounds in a lab. So next time you're in the Sahara, keep your ears open for a desert concert. And don't be fooled by Hollywood, the Sahara is mostly rock, not just sand. Only 30% is sand, with the rest being gravel and rocky landscapes. It's also home to salt flats, valleys, plateaus, mountains, rivers, streams, and oases. Yes, rivers in the desert. The highest point, Mount Kusi, is an extinct volcano at 3,415 meters. So, when you think of the Sahara, think beyond just sand dunes. Imagine a diverse and awe-inspiring landscape, filled with hidden gems and breathtaking views. The desert holds many secrets and surprises for those who venture into it. We're ready for our big reveal, but are you? A meteorite discovered in the Algerian side of the Sahara Desert has been dated as a whopping 4.56 billion years old, older than Earth itself. This rare artifact comes from a protoplanet that was forming when the solar system was just 2 million years old. 
The magma that formed this meteorite would have been at least 1,220 degrees Celsius and taken at least 10,000 years to cool and solidify. The team speculates that this astronomical body would have been destroyed or absorbed by bigger planets as they formed closer to the Sun. The meteorite, named Ergcheck 002, EC002, was part of a group recovered in May 2020 near southern Algeria. The stones display a rough, sandy texture with a blend of tans and beiges, accompanied by crystals and hues of green, yellow-green, and yellow-brown scattered throughout. This rock is classified as a chondrite, originating from a parent body with a differentiated crust and core, like the rocky planets. Hundreds of stone structures dating back thousands of years have been discovered in western Sahara, Morocco, in a territory little explored by archaeologists. The purpose of these structures remains a mystery, with shapes varying from crescents, circles, and straight lines to rectangular platforms or mounds created by piled-up rocks. The discovery of this ancient meteorite has truly rocked our world, and we hope you enjoyed learning about these discoveries as much as we did. Thank you for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates on more exciting content. See you next time.